everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about four things narcissists never get over. But before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below. It helps the YouTube algorithm to support our community. So narcissists believe that they are all powerful. They believe that they are untouchable and invincible. As though they can do whatever they want. But they're unaffected by anything you do to them. Because they're grand and imposing and they're very important. So they're meant to be inaccessible and impossible to understand. When in fact this is just an illusion. And when you realise that, it leaves them powerless. 1. When you expose them. When you expose a narcissist that is something they're never going to get over. And they will forever hate you and desire to harm you. Because they want to paint themselves as the hero or as the victim. And they expect everyone to validate this false image that they have created for themselves. But then you come along and you point out that their image is not as stable or secure as they portray it to be. And that is when it all falls on top of them like a house of cards. They get very angry and they become fixated on you. Because you see through the illusion you see that it's all fake. They don't really care that it's fake. They already know that they can't do it for real. But if they can at least create a mirage, it makes them feel like they're winning. But when you come around and you're authentic and you don't feel the need to manipulate anyone, it reminds them that they are losing. So they try to win by making you lose. Because everything that you are reminds them that what they have is all a facade. So they end up hating you and desiring to harm you. Solely because they can't accept that they've been exposed. They may pretend to have moved on, but they're still thinking about you. They're still thinking of ways to sabotage what you've got going on because you destroyed their false image. They may act like they're happy and they're not thinking about you, but once you manage to affect the way that they see themselves, they never let go. Because the entire time, they subdued their true needs and desires for something real. Instead of something that they fabricated in their minds and then projected onto reality. So when you show up and they see that you're the real deal and you've accomplished things for real. It makes them feel offended, ashamed, humiliated and deeply embarrassed. And that is something that will remain with them until the end of their lives. It's something that they will never get over. If you're finding this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up down below. On to number two, when they lose control of you. This is something that typically occurs with narcissistic parents, but it can also happen in relationships with narcissists that are possessive and controlling. When you regain control of your life and you gain independence, it destroys their false reality. It causes them a great deal of disturbance, confusion and uncertainty. Because the entire time they were coordinating the elements of the situation to produce the desired effects. Where everything was under their control. So when you gain independence. It makes them feel in a state of shock and despair. Especially when you gain financial independence from a narcissist who is using money to control you. Because your financial freedom leaves you to be no longer dependent on them. 
It gives you control over your own life. Which is why if you start working and earning money, they will oppose you. And they will deliberately try to prevent your success and development because they fear the loss of control over you. They thrive on you being their accommodating subordinate, where you are submissive and compliant. But for you, that serves as a means to an end. It prevents you from pro pro progressing and accomplishing anything significant in your life, which is why they do not like your independence because they see it as a threat to their delusions of grandeur, where they have total control over you. So when you gain independence, it cuts off their supply, and then they will frantically try to regain what they have lost. But it will haunt them for the rest of their lives, because you're developing rapidly and successfully outside of their reach, which means you're no longer a part of their game and that leaves an emptiness in their lives. Three, they can't replace you. Despite what they may try to make you believe, your supply is very rare. It's not something that they're going to find anywhere else. You gave them admiration, love and respect which inflated their sense of self-worth. It made them feel unique and exceptional as though they're superior to everyone else, but that's only when you're around them. So of course they're not, of course they're going to experience a deprivation of these qualities when you're not around, which leaves them craving for that time when they once felt desirable by someone who loved them more than anything else in their lives. So when you separate yourself, it is a monumental experience for them. To where they may do something dangerous and unexpected in a desperate attempt to regain your attention. Because they lost a potent source of supply, which is shocking and distressing for a narcissist. So they will urgently try to find a replacement. But it becomes an unrealistic hope that cannot be achieved until they develop an obsession with you and they end up stalking you or trying to gather information about you because your supply is very rare. They can't find anyone else like you. They may try to imitate the relationship with someone else, but it only frustrates them when they realize that is, it is unable to be fulfilled. Because you had so much energy and passion so everything else seemed less important and serious in comparison to you. When you separate yourself, their void becomes a persistent and unrelenting reminder to them. And the fourth and final thing that narcissists never get over is that you saw through them. In their minds, they're always the hero or the victim. They can never do anything wrong. They're superior to everyone. But that illusion is powered by your belief. It depends on your acceptance that it exists because it does not involve facts or proof. They just expect you to blindly recognize their perceived talent or intelligence without a practical demonstration or explanation because they're in denial. They really believe that they are superior. So when you come at them with facts, in their minds you're gaslighting them because you're denying them of their false reality. When the reality is that they're really not as great as they think they are. So when you see them as they actually are, they take it as an insult and they just can't comprehend it. They can't understand why you wouldn't be amazed by them. Because in their minds they're the best things since sliced bread. They're perfect. So you can't ever suggest that they could do something wrong. In their minds that is an attack. And it will make them very angry. To where they will never forgive you. They will hold on to their bitterness and resentment. 
and they will seek vengeance to sabotage you, to bring you down and show you that they are greater than you. Those are the four things narcissists never get over. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up down below. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. And if you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website, which is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.